there. Uh, my name is Caitlin and I'm a Midwest artist who likes to read. Welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to, uh, <laughs> my dog's, sorry if you can hear my dog again. <laughs> this is going to be my very first art vlog. I want to explain what my plans are for this year and how I'm going to achieve them. Um, in my very first video, I um, stated I was feeling lost with my career and everything like that. Um, and then after doing some deep thinking, I now have um, more of an idea of what I want to do. I had some talks with uh, my therapist and also my professors about like what exactly I want to achieve in my illustration career. And uh, my therapist reminded me of my original dream, which I think I've lost a little bit in the past couple of years, uh, just focusing on like um, selling my artwork and things like that. Um, my dream is I want to be published. I would love to be published. Uh, I grew up um, like going to the library constantly. I have such a deep love for books. I was so enamored at the whole process of making graphic novels and picture books and um, those kind of books just give me so much joy, so much emotion um, that I was really excited by the idea that I could make something like that. So um, again, after talking with my therapist, I was like, I need to go back to that original uh, dream of mine and get back to it. So how am I going to achieve that goal? Well, um, after talking with my professors, um, the general idea is one, I'm going to finish up any projects that I'm currently working on so I can focus on building a portfolio that shows more sequential narratives um, in this style that I want to achieve. So right now I'm um, working, I have a webcomic called Dear Samar. I've been doing it for uh, like two, three years now. Uh, it's my very first comic. Uh, if you ever want to do like make a comic yourself, start with something smaller. <laughs> that was like advice I got from like one of my high school teachers. I just decided to just dive head first into it uh, when uh, COVID was coming around and I just had all this time to myself to work on it. Uh, so it's my very first project. Um, just I always aimed as more as a learning opportunity to like get into the skills of um, building um, a comic and like working on uh, panels and stuff like that. Um, there are at this moment of time, there are things I would love to change about that comic, um, especially since it's not in the style that I really want to work in anymore. It's a style that's really effective for making pages quickly, um, but it's become uh, not in a way that's uh, not as interesting for me to make um, pages. It's not intriguing to me to make a comic in this style. Going off of that, it doesn't fit with my current style, which I'll show a couple pictures of that right now. Um, so I've been working more of like a painterly illustrative style. And um, there's some deep thinking I had with my professors um, because like, with this style, you commonly would think it would fit more with like picture books and stuff like that. So one of my professors was like, oh yeah, you need to focus on writing for picture books with this current style that you're working with. I'm like, yes, yeah, so I do like the idea of picture books, but it's not as exciting to me as um, working for a young adult to adult audience. So I did some deep thinking about that. And then uh, my other professor was like, you need to be uh, very consistent with the style that you output. Um, so I got to thinking, it's like, well, the style I want to do um, is normally for like picture books and stuff like that. But the age range I want to do is for older people. So do I have to make a style that's for the older people? And I'm like, Something's not clicking here. So I recently read a graphic novel. Um, it's called A uh, Cucumber Quest. Um, so I read this first book and it has this really beautiful, it's kind of sort of like a, a style that I'm doing where um, it's lineless. It's all based on colors and shapes and kind of painterly. I, 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 in my brain it's painterly, but um, it's more like there are like specific shapes to it. It's very uh, controlled with the shapes. That's what I want to say. And I read this. So I was like, wow, this, there's someone making comics in a style that's similar to mine. 
um, and my other professor was like, you need, in order to make yourself marketable, you need to find your own niche. What's like out there that you can sell to the world, like what's missing in the world. So I was like, hello, why don't I do this kind of style in a, a book that's for young adults or adults? I just have to adapt what I've been doing for my illustrations currently and now actually practice it in a sequential narrative form. All right, so going back to the master plan that I have, um, I'm going to finish up Dear Samara. I'm right now, as I'm recording this, I have pages, I do pages in advance. Um, I don't normally do it this advanced, so that shows I'm really trying to get this all done. But um, I have pages all, all the way made until July and I'm getting there. I think it's gonna take me another month or two um, to get it all done, but I, surprisingly the end is nigh, which is really like exciting to me. <laughs> um, and then, yeah, the next step is I'm going to build up my portfolio. And with that, I'm gonna be working on some smaller, very smaller comic projects um, in the um, current illustration style that I'm doing. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to, um, I have a wordless comic that I made in college um, that I really do enjoy. It's like five pages or so. And I'm thinking since I already have like all the like um, baseline of it, of the lines and things like that, I just need to take that and adapt it into a um, lineless um, painterly style like I want to do and like figure out the textures and how exactly it's going to like look with all the colors and um, color mapping and things like that um, and I'm going to that's that'll be my first official test into this style that I want to do for future comics um, the next plans I have is I have like an idea for like a mini story for Dear Samar and I think um, that would be helpful because I already know how um, I make the characters it would show consistency of like making this same characters over and over again so I think I'm gonna write out a, a mini story for my comic, you know, and but do it in this new style of mine. And then thirdly, I have a bunch of like different story ideas. Um, so like I've been um, having these ideas since like high school and stuff like that. And I have this idea of like a ghost story of like ghost hunters. Um, that I have been very intrigued with. I don't have a name for the story yet. I just have two main characters of Bishop and Abigail. And I would love to write like little like 30 page mini stories of their ghost hunting um, travels. And then uh, once I do like several of those, I'm thinking of building a bigger kind of prequel story to that. Uh, once I get more comfortable working in this style and um, I can now, uh, consistently make pages into um, that style and put it out to the world. I think that would be a, that seems very exciting to me. So to wrap up this video, I'm going to talk about long-term goals. So I want to, um, after I do all my little tests and stuff like that, I'm going to work on a long-term comic project, which right now I'm thinking of uh, it being my uh, ghost hunting story uh, that I'm, uh, have general ideas about. Um, once I get that situated, I hope I have like enough, enough examples um, for to present it to an agent um, who can get me the connections to possibly get something published, which that would be such a, a great thing for uh, me to achieve. I just want my books, my physical book in my hands um, that I can enjoy. As you can um, probably guess, this is going to take a lot of work and time. So if you do want to support me, you can subscribe to this channel. Um, I also have a Patreon. Um, I um, have two tiers. One is for early access to um, comic pages, uh, which right now is for Dear Samar. Uh, eventually it's going to evolve to other um, comic work that I do. And uh, I also have another tier for early access to YouTube videos. Right now, again, the goal is to do one video a month, but hopefully once I start get, um, getting used to doing this, I would make more videos more often. Um, you can also um, buy my prints online um, through Etsy, and then I also um, sell work at um, a local consignment shop called the Octagon Center for the Arts, so you can find me there. And yeah, again, thank you for watching. Thank you for um, coming along with me on my artistic journey, and I hope to see you next time.
，拜拜。